What's up everyone? Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we have one box of Rise of the Unison Warrior and just as a little something extra we have a premium pack of Ultimate Squad. I will admit I have actually opened one box of Rise of the Unison Warrior off camera and I actually was fortunate enough to get the Gotenks SCR, my first SCR from a Master Series, which is really epic. So happy with that. Sad it wasn't on camera, but when you have friends who are also into opening boxes, sometimes it's good to just open boxes together without the camera rolling and just have some fun. So hopefully today we managed to score a second SCR. If not, I'm sure there'll be some epic pulls. So let's get into it. Okay, moment of truth, is there going to be an SPR box topper? SR box topper, nice. And it's the homie trunks, of course. Love this card. I did get this in my other box, but we'll happily take a second one because this is just such a sweet card. Okay, so while I go through this, let's talk about the new Fusion World that's coming out. I think it's coming out in another two weeks or so. Pretty sure it's called Raging Roar. I haven't had too much of a look at it to be honest, but I am not entirely sure. Oh, <laughs> straight off the bat, SPR Zeno. First pack magic. Oh my gosh, that's the first time I've actually had proper first pack magic with an SPR. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, I don't have this one, so really, really, really happy that I got this in the very first pack. Oh my goodness, let's sleeve this bad boy up. In case you guys are interested, these are the sleeves that I use. I'm actually not too much of a fan of the thin penny sleeves. I like these ones because they're just a little bit thicker and it just feels like the card is a bit more protected. I get these from Gameology. They're an Australian based company, but I'm sure that if you live somewhere else in the world, you should be able to look up this brand and get them yourself if you're interested. But yeah, they're the sleeves that I use. So anyways, oh, I really, really love this version of Bulma, to be honest. It's probably my favorite version apart from the bunny girl outfit. I am really, really wanting to cosplay as this version of Bulma one day. I just need to find some people who can make the accessories um but yeah definitely definitely love this version of Bulma oh my gosh um so anyway <laughs> the new uh fusion world that's coming out yeah I haven't had too much of a proper look but the little parts that I have seen I don't feel particularly drawn to to be honest oh an SR Yamcha Wolf Fang Fist Damn, this pack is on fire. This is only my second pack in and already we've got an SPR and an SR. Wow, I, I picked the lucky box, man. <laughs> this box is delivering hard. So yeah, new Fusion World, Raging Roar. Haven't really felt too drawn to actually uh, buy any boxes. I might have a proper look this week just to make sure but if it's not really uh, doing anything for me, then I may actually skip it because I just really, really want to get into some Realm of the Gods. And as you guys probably know, it is incredibly expensive. So really need some time to save up for that and yeah, just get stuck into it and do it properly with buying cases instead of just buying random boxes. So yeah, hoping to get into that sometime soon. Um, oh wow, what a beautiful hollow. I love this moment in Dragon Ball Super where Trunks just, yeah, goes into like a beast mode. So epic. Um, so yeah, they're, that's where I'm up to at the moment. But like I said, I'll have another look at the new Fusion World. Maybe I will just get 
one or two boxes just to have a look because it will be the newest set coming out and I had such a, such a great experience with Blazing Aura so yeah I might open it but I might not because I really do want to focus on Realm of the Gods and get that Vegeta God Rare so we'll see what happens and speaking of God Rares I'm sure you guys have probably seen the new two god rares that have just been released that will be part of the new zenkai series legend of the dragon balls yeah i'm sorry to say this probably is going to be an unpopular opinion but oh wow beautiful hollow freezer there oh my gosh beautiful um yeah to be honest i am not digging them really um the seventh anniversary one i have seen that artwork so many times i even have a deck of uno cards with that exact same artwork and i have a book that has that artwork on the front and don't get me wrong i love that particular artwork and design it's really beautiful and epic but i've just seen it so many times and it just would have been really, really nice if they actually just designed something fresh and new for something so special, like a 7th anniversary god rare. But yeah, it is what it is. So not particularly that hyped about it. And oh, <laughs> damn boy. SPR Yamcha again merciless barrage wow this is an absolutely stunning SPR even though these are different names they still look like such an epic set together and you really don't see many Yamcha cards especially of this caliber so wow this is absolutely beautiful and I think this is only one two three I'm only six packs in and I already have the two SPRs so oh is there an SCR hiding in this box for me oh we'll see what happens so as I was saying the new two god rares not too crazy about them the seventh anniversary one eh. and the SS4 it's either I can't even tell if it's Goku or if it's like a SS4 Gogeta, but oh, nice! Damn, this box is hit after hit. SR Shenron Unison of Rescue. Wow, what a beautiful SR! So the SS4 Gogeta or Vegito, whoever it is, I'm not sure. That God Rare. Honestly, to, to me, it's not crazy enough to be classified as a god rare, in my opinion. I think it probably looks more like an SCR or even just a really nice SPR. Not really a god rare. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, with the hype over the announcement of the god rares and what we got, I'm a little bit bummed, to be honest, but... It is what it is and um, I don't know, I still might I still might throw my hat in the ring and buy a box or two but even the other cards that I've seen from that set, I don't know what it is, I just am not really feeling it. I am really just wanting to really explore the old masters series and just get into more fighters ambition critical blow mythic booster saiyan showdown like all of the like og good stuff so yeah i don't know that's where i am at the moment let me guys know what you think i might be sharing an unpopular opinion um but that's just what i think it's my opinion so feel free to do whatever you guys want but yeah, that's my two cents. <laughs> okay, so back to business. Let's focus on these B E A beautiful Rise of the Unison Warrior cards. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, I actually really love this set and yeah, I wouldn't mind maybe opening a few more, but for now I've only got, uh, this is my second box, but yeah, as you guys saw, the hits are already just <laughs> crazy, so maybe I'll open another box or yeah, like I said, just focus on saving up for a Realm of the Gods case or two and yeah, hitting hard with that one because I need that Vegeta, guys. I need that Vegeta guard rare. Okay, we've got Putin. Parasitic Darkness. Man, whoever thinks of the names for these cards seriously deserves a raise because some of them are just so epic and creative. I really wish that I <laughs> had enough... Uh, creativity to think of really awesome titles like that but I'm more of a visual person so I think more in terms of images and pictures and designs as opposed to words so words are just not my forte but yeah some of these titles for the cards are just really really insanely epic <laughs> I don't think we have anything in this pack let's just keep going through it go tanks Vegeta Freezer, Ultimate Power Piccolo, <laughs> oh, the gang, <laughs> Sun Goku, another Dragon Ball, Parasitic Darkness, Vegeta, Sun Goku, really? Really? Hmm, okay, it, I don't know, mine's playing tricks on me, it almost looks like, um, like a SS3 go tanks or something. And we got Dark Dragon Slaying Bullet. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep going. So yeah, definitely let me guys know what you think of the new Fusion World that's coming out and also the new Legend of the Dragon Balls Zenkai series. I think that's going to come out in either September or October from memory. And yeah, what you guys think of the guard rares, because I'm really curious to hear if you guys share the same thoughts as me, or if you are really digging the designs. Um, yeah, let me know. Oh, that's such a beautiful Pua hollow. <laughs> Pua is so cute. Oh, I think we have something back here, people. Oh, nice! Vegeta Prideful Transformation SR. Oh, baby, that hits hard. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. I don't even know how many packs I have left, but <laughs> let's just keep rolling through it. Can't believe how many hits I've had in this box. And this box was on sale too, so I almost thought, oh, is it a dead box? I'm not sure, but the other box that I bought that was on sale was also... Uh, yeah, I also thought maybe that was a dead box, but I got an SCR out of it. So, yeah, sometimes it's yeah worth buying them on sale and, yeah, just <laughs> uh, using it as like a lucky dip, I guess. <laughs> Peel off machine. <laughs> they actually have some pretty funny moments together. I don't mind them. <laughs> Zamasu again. Peel off's castle. Vegeta. Oof. Yum. Demogra, Bruiser, Hayes Shenron, Mira. Let me know if I'm going too fast with this, guys, or if you're happy for me to just... Ooh! Another SR hit, baby! SS Gogeta. Dynamic Unison. Yeah, let me know if I'm going too fast with this, or if you're happy for me to just flick through the cards at this pace, because I have been asked to try to film my videos where I'm actually showing every card instead of the like just the hits so yeah just trying this out but happy to hear any comments or feedback that you guys might have because at the end of the day even though I'm doing this really just for fun as something for me to enjoy I also do want to take into consideration you guys because you know you guys are the ones who are uh, watching this and um, 
supporting me and providing some really awesome comments and feedback so yeah anything that can help my channel uh, benefit you guys as well and uh, make the experience fun for all of us then yeah more than happy to uh, take that into account and just try to improve as much as I can so the Jenks <laughs> I love this Vegeta card I have this as a hollow and it looks absolutely stunning so really love the artwork in this card freeze again Sun Goku savage savagery awakened and Vijanks once again awesome Coom <laughs> the muscle head <laughs> that's funny Cataplast Sun Goha Frieza my Sun Gohan I wish I could kick like this I am so not flexible and <laughs> my legs just cannot bend straight so whenever I see someone kicking like this I think damn like I wish I had your flexibility <laughs> Chi Chi, the cheater again, the homie, Jace. <laughs> I think, I think with Jace, they tried to. Oh, that's a beautiful hollow. Wow, that's stunning, actually. My my my. Oh, I love this card. Actually, this is a really beautiful card with Bulma and Vegeta. And whenever I see it, I just think of him saying, "That's my Bulma." So. Yeah, really, really love this card. Yeah, I think with Jace in the Kinyu Force, <laughs> I think when they were recording his voice, they were trying their best to do an Australian accent, but <laughs> I don't know, to us Aussies, it's pretty funny when Americans or anyone really tries to do an Aussie accent, but it kind of sounds a bit strange or it even can sound more like a New Zealand accent as opposed to an Australian accent so yeah I think that's what they were trying to do with Jace just try to make him like this bad boy Aussie guy but <laughs> yeah it's pretty funny <laughs> okay we're down to our last few packs so let's see we've already had I think I'm maybe due for a few more SRs I believe but yeah, already got two SPRs, so wondering if there's going to be an SCR hiding in one of these last packs. Maybe because I got an SPR in the first pack, there might be an SCR in the last pack, so some last pack magic. So yeah, let's see. I think out of all the forms of Freezer, I think this form is actually my favorite. It's like the most... I don't know I guess iconic and just aesthetically it just looks the best so yeah Freezer is yeah his final form is really really cool and Golden Freezer as well just looks really epic okay this is our second last pack people there's one more pack after this so let's roll straight through it we got my Pua mm -hmm. absolute confidence Chi Chi, Hayes Shenron, Blue Impulse, Negative Energy 2 Star Ball, Bajanks, a Holo Hayes Shenron, it looks pretty cool actually, and Bulma Devoted Supporter. Alrighty, so last pack left, let's see what we can do. Hopefully there's something epic in here, that would be cherry on top of a really awesome unboxing oh there actually might be something back there I thought I saw some pretty cool shine we got Zeno Chi Chi again uh, Goku but Ginyu because he's taken over his body I guess <laughs> uh, Shu Zamasu Giru 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 loves plum <laughs> Bulma Goku, Toa, we got Frieza, come on, last pack magic baby, oh an SR, Sun Goku, Rival Seeker, I'll take that, I will take that, that's pretty epic. Okay people, I think we had a pretty successful 
box of Rise of the Unison Warrior. So first up, we have our SR box topper. We have oops, Gogeta SR. Vegeta Pride for Transformation. This one is an absolute beauty. Love, love, love this one. We got Shenron, the homie. A Yamcha SPR. Really beautiful. Love the amount of gold in this one too. And a Yamcha again, but the SR Wolf Fang Fist. <laughs> we got Zeno SPR Cosmic Unison. And finally, the last but not least card from the last pack, Goku Rival Seeker SR. Really, really happy with those pulls actually, I have to say. And just quickly, there was someone who actually reached out to me and just wanted to have someone explain what the codes mean on the cards. So for Chris, uh, let me just show you. So it has here on the box what each card is so there's 60 commons so in the code at the bottom it will say C 38 uncommons which will say U C 30 rares so it'll just be an R so with the more rarer ones 23 SRs which is super rare 10 SPRs which is 10 special rares and then three secret rares, so that's SCR. So that's what I'm talking about when I refer to cards as SPR or SCR, so I hope that helps. So now let's just end this video with a quick little unboxing of a Ultimate Squad Premium Pack. All right, let's do this. I haven't actually, oh, I forgot about the promo card. So we've got a King Cold promo card, very nice. So yeah, I actually haven't opened, oh, this pack art really really meant oh, I, I think there's um i don't think there's a card with both of them i think there's a card with gohan like that and then a separate card with piccolo like that so would really love to have the gohan one of course only one premium pack not expecting too much but let's just dive in anyway so we got the home girl kefla oh metacooler core that's a dope card General Blue, Dende, Mercenary Tau, <laughs> Cyclopean Guard, hope I'm pronouncing that right, Setting Forth to Space, Mechanized Planet, Android 15, Instant Kamehameha, Piccolo, Fusions Resolve, come on baby, give me something good, and Pan, Adventures Advent. But yeah, that's the, yeah, that is the Piccolo from the pack art. Awesome. Happy with that as a holo then, I'll put that aside. Ooh, guys, I think there's actually something back here. I see a bit of gold foiling. Ooh, okay. Ooh, all right. Ooh, okay, there definitely was something back there. Let's find out. It's probably just an SR, but Still happy with anything because, like I said, I only bought one premium pack because I wanted to spend a certain amount to get free shipping. <laughs> so I just bought one premium pack for that reason. So yeah, any hits that I can get just from a random premium pack, that would be epic. All right, moment of truth. Oh, oh my goodness, look at this. Sun Gohan Z Fighter. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful SR. Oh, where I am, I am so happy with this. Look at the amount of rainbow shine in this bad boy. Damn, that is such a nice SR. Oh my goodness, I am taking that to the bank for sure. Okay, if there's an SR in that pack, I don't know if we're going to get anything else from these last two packs but you never know do you you really never know until you try your luck so let's see metacoolers results of research super sigma dr Giro, and nays nice i don't remember how to say his name 
Okay, last premium pack. Let's do this, boy. All right. Uh, looks like there might not be anything in here, but... All right, let's see. We have Nezzy. Android 13. Son Goku. Trunks, the homie. General White. Cyclopean Guard. Finn. Oh, I love this card. Yeah, I just really love it when they're training in the Hyperbolic Time Shaper. So cool. And yeah, with Gohan like learning to become Super Saiyan and oh, just that whole saga is just the best, honestly. We got Demon God Salsa. All right, is there something behind here? Nope, that's fine. No, no worries at all. Wow, that was really cool. And yeah, so the main hit of that premium pack obviously was this beautiful SR Sun Gohan. Well, that's it guys. That was the unboxing for Rise of the Unison Warrior and a Ultimate Squad premium pack. I hope you enjoyed it and you stayed around this long for the video. Um, definitely more videos coming out and more unboxings, uh, including some Pokemon as well if you're interested in that. So yeah, if you want to stick around and see what else I unbox, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. So yeah, that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.